Hello, welcome back to yet another gas walkthrough. I'm Phil. This is a puzzle by Clover called Point to Next Sudoku. And Philip is as well, he's just Philip. Uh you'll pro you'll probably all meet him at some point. Uh we occasionally we let him out of the house. Now, um if you haven't met us before, uh we are Das, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We make a puzzle every day uh, for you for free. Um, and then we solve it for you on this YouTube channel. Uh, so, you know, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. But really, if you want to just do this puzzle, the link is down below. Um, but let's get into it. So, this is Point to Next Sudoku by Clover. Now, normal Sudoku rules apply. So, in each box, row, and column, it must have digits one to nine once each. Uh, now, this is the part which is kind of like a little odd if you haven't seen it before. If a digit N is placed in a cell with an arrow, the digit N plus one must be placed next at, in one of the cells pointed by the arrow. So, uh, here, this cell has an arrow, so the, whatever number we need to put there needs to be either the number that uh, the number that comes before two or the number that comes before six. So it can only be one or five. If you've already spotted uh, which digit it is, well done. You should probably give this puzzle a go. Um, but I'm gonna sort of explain the contents behind this puzzle. Uh, as we go, but yeah, let's get into it. So, uh, here we have the digits uh, one, three, five, seven, and nine. Now, only one digit in this can never point to another cell, which means that this must be nine um, because we can't point to 10 in a Sudoku. So, uh, this has to be one, three, five, and seven. Well, I've got to put a one somewhere and it's going to point at that too. We already have a one in column one, so this must be one. Now I need to put a seven in here somewhere. So this has to be seven because it's got a point at the eight and it can't be this one. Uh, I need to put a, I need to put a three and a five in. The only way that three can look at four is if I put it there. And I need to put a five in somewhere. So it's got to go there. Let's come down here now. Uh, Let's have a look. okay. This one's less obvious, but we've got one cell that's not an arrow. And good question is what is it? And I'm pretty sure it's one. And the reason why I'm pretty sure it's one is if I put a one anywhere else, it would need to point at two. So I can put a one there. Now, uh I need to put something that points at three, which must be two. So two goes there. I need to put something which points at eight. Ooh, no, uh, hang on. Uh, four needs to point at five. So four must go there. Eight needs to point at nine. So that must go there. And six needs to point at seven. So that has to go there. Uh, with that, we can do a little bit more of this puzzle. Uh, this cell needs to either be six or four. Uh, must point to six or four, meaning it can only be three or five. We've already put a three in this in this row, so that's five. Uh, meaning, if we read across here, we've got to put eight and seven in box three. Seven must point at eight, so that they have to go that way. So this is two, three, and nine. Nine goes here. Two must go there because it's got to point at three, and that's box three done. Uh, so down here, two and four need to point at uh, need to be whatever cells on this arrow. We already have a two in row seven, so we're gonna put a four there. Uh, we can't quite get the same sort of luck with uh, how the last box resolved for us. But what we can do is we can put a nine in uh, because nine has to go here. So nine, it, nine goes there. Uh, now, this could only be one or eight. This can only be six or seven. Now, uh, I can't put, ooh, 
<laughs> so the only cells that I can possibly, and uh, this can only be one, six, or eight, but can it? So eight would need to point at a nine, which breaks because that one's there. One would need to point at two, which can't work. So that goes there. So this is six and seven, being this is one and eight. Um, that's nearly this whole puzzle just kind of solved. Um, but let's go. Eight needs to point at nine, so I have to put a nine there. Six needs to point at seven. Only place it can go is there. Three needs to point at four. Only place it can go is there. Five needs to point at six. Only place it can go is there. That is all the clues done. Um, and now we are just on to classic Sudoku. Uh, you know, like the uh, Pepsi, not Pepsi, uh, New Coke or classic Coke. I don't know. American capitalism has always been weird. All right. Uh, four, five, six in column two, six. These are four and five. Uh, this is one, five, and six. I can actually do that because one can only go there, leaving six and five to go. Three, four, and nine, four, three, nine pair. Um, we still need to do one, two, three, and eight in this row. Uh, so three goes there, meaning I can actually resolve this. Um, where does five go in this box? Five must go there. This has to be four, because it sees one and eight in the row, meaning this is a one, eight pair. And I still need to put a two in, but I can't quite do that yet. So this is one, two, eight. Uh, let's go over here. We've got three, eight, and nine to place. This is three. This is eight and nine. Uh, I've got one and seven to place in this column. Can't quite do that just yet. Two, five, and six to do. This is a lot easier for us. Six, two, and five, which unwinds that for us. Uh, one, two, three, and eight. Three there, two there. This is one and eight. Uh, this is one, seven, and eight. Now, ah, seven. There we go. One, seven. And now this whole puzzle's going to unwind for us. This has been point to next Sudoku. Uh, by Clover. I am still Bill. Last time I checked. I hope you've enjoyed this puzzle. I hope you have an absolutely lovely day. And, you know, I hope, um, you know, I hope, I hope, I hope uh, you continue to have a lovely day, especially after doing such a nice puzzle to kick it off. Um, I will catch you on the flip side. Bye for now.